So we had the New York primary yesterday, and the results are mostly in, to be specific here, 98% in. On the Republican side, uh, Trump decimated everybody in sight. He steamrolled the competition. Uh, he beat Kasich and Cruz. He won 60.5% of the vote. And he's likely getting 89 delegates from this. Kasich got second with 25% of the vote. He'll get three delegates. And Cruz got his ass handed to him on a silver platter. Uh, he only got 14.5% of the vote. And he'll get a grand total of zero delegates. So uh, Trump will unquestionably at this point have the plurality of votes and the plurality of uh, delegates by the convention, but we still don't know if he's going to hit the magic number of, uh, 1,237. So that's the number that he has to hit in order to win the nomination outright. It's up in the air as to whether or not he'll do that. He, he might just have a plurality and not hit the magic number, in which case they can try some tricky shit and they can try to, uh, take the nomination from him. But either way, it's probably going to be a messy convention. Now, on the Democratic side, huge night for Hillary Clinton. Again, with 98% of the precincts reporting, she has 57.9% of the vote. She'll pick up 175 delegates to Bernie's 106 delegates. Uh, Bernie had just 42.1% of the vote. You have to be honest at this point, Bernie's chances, uh, his, his time is running out here. Okay, there's no more, uh, I unfortunately can't come out here and say, oh, that's the bad news, but here's the good news. There's very little good news. Now, I'm going to give you uh, some of the reason why he did so poorly in just a second here, but understand that uh, while he does still have a path to the nomination, oh, that gap is closing. So it, it is going to be difficult. My job is to give you guys the facts, and I'm not going to give you false hope. Uh, you know, I had him at 25%, 30%, gone back and forth around there uh, to win the nomination. At this point, after last night, I do drop him all the way to about 10%. So, you know, again, as much as uh, you guys probably like Bernie, obviously I like Bernie. Math is a stubborn thing. <laughs> and if you look at the polling data and you match it up with what he has to do moving forward... Woo, he needs a, a, a near miracle, and we got to call it for what it is. But let's uh, take a second, like I said, and try to analyze why it is that Bernie did so poorly in New York. Well, first of all, independents can't vote in the primary in New York. It's what's called a closed primary. Democrats can only vote for the, uh, for the Democrats, and Republicans can only vote for the Republicans. And uh, if you're an independent, you're asked out. You just can't vote. Which is really weird if you think about it, because there are plenty of people who want to vote and they can't vote in the primary. Now, second of all, to switch parties, you had to do it all the way back in October. <laughs> so, again, if you don't think that gets in the way, hold on, because I'm going to tell you uh, some personal stuff in a little bit where you'll go, oh, so you know somebody that that happened to, and you're just one person. It could be the same uh, case for many people. Uh, and then also... To just register to vote, you had to do it 25 days before the election. Think about how crazy that is. Because a lot of places now have same-day registration. Not only do we not have same-day registration, we don't have same-week registration. So uh, that's lunacy. And uh, perhaps most importantly here, the districts that were more likely to go for Bernie had their hours changed, and it was changed very recently. So it was supposed to be open from 6 o'clock in the morning until 9 o'clock at night, and they changed it from 12 o'clock in the afternoon to 9 o'clock at night. Uh, the only ones that were able to stay open from 6 o'clock in the morning to 9 o'clock at night, the districts that are much more likely to go to Hillary. Uh, so, and the counties, I should say. So you had Westchester County, which went to Hillary overwhelmingly. It's where I am. Very depressing. <laughs> you had um, uh, Rockland. You had, I believe, Putnam. You had... Uh, obviously, all of the city was able to stay open from 6 o'clock in the morning to 9 o'clock at night. And I believe you had uh, Erie County, which uh, might have been one or maybe one of two of the counties that had the longer hours that actually went to Bernie. But it was close there. 
So uh, they know, man, the Democratic Party in New York knows. They know which uh, places are more likely to go to Bernie. And those were the places that overwhelmingly had their hours changed. The more rural places in New York went Bernie. They also happen to be the places that had their hours changed. Coincidence? I leave that up to you to find out. Uh, and listen to this, guys. So again, on this same theme here of uh, fuckery behind the scenes. So uh, my brother-in-law wanted to vote for Bernie, but he's a registered Republican. Uh, and by the time he realized, okay, he would have to switch parties, it was too late for him to switch parties. So that's just one story. Granted, anecdotal. So, uh, you know, take it for what it's worth. This isn't the end-all be-all. Uh, but also, one of my best friends and his wife, uh, of course, they're New Yorkers, but they just recently moved out of state, and they also wanted to vote for Bernie, but apparently the process in order to, you know, get an out-of-state ballot, or whatever the fuck they call it, was a complex one, and they weren't able to do it in time, so there again, you have <laughs> two more votes that were supposed to go uh, for Bernie that didn't go for Bernie. And then we also, when I was uh, at the polling place and I was voting, there was a, a guy who came up and he said, okay, I don't know if I'm registered, I don't remember if I'm registered independent or Democrat, but can you check to see if my name is there? So the, he told them their name. The, the uh, polling workers go through it. They don't find his name. Uh, so they say, well, I mean, I guess you can do a provisional ballot if you want. And then the kid says, you know, come to think of it, I, I'm pro I probably am registered independent, so... And then the polling workers say, okay, well, in that case, you can't do a provisional ballot because if you know you're an independent, well, then in we know it's a closed primary and independents can't vote in it. So then the poor kid had to, to turn away and go home. He wanted to come vote. He took the time out of his day to come vote. He gets there. He's not sure if he's independent or Democrat. And it, lo and behold, because of the stupid rules in New York, okay, well, now I got to go and I can't vote. This is fucking democracy? This is what it looks like? Now, everybody needs to understand something. Even uh, if New York was, you know, uh, all the, the rules that make more sense and all the rules that we can all admit would be more in favor of Bernie, like if you allow independents to vote and it's an open primary, even if that's the case, he still may have lost New York because he lost by a, a really solid chunk here. But on principle, shouldn't we have a better system anyway? <laughs> So even if Hillary Clinton still would have won, and let's go crazy here, and even though this is not the case, but let's say we had, you know, uh, an open primary and we had independents allowed to vote, and Hillary won by more! Again, that wouldn't have happened, but just uh, for argument's sake here. Even then, I would still be in favor of having a more uh, open primary. Why? Because it makes sense. More votes get counted, more people have their voice heard. I mean, it's crazy not to have that, and I haven't even brought up the fact that there were many voter purges that are kind of questionable. Over 100,000 people in Brooklyn alone. Uh, and Brooklyn happens to be Bernie's hometown. That's where he grew up, in Brooklyn. That's where he was born. So, it, there's a lot of creepy stuff going on, man. Now, again, I, you, you don't misunderstand what I'm saying. It's overwhelmingly likely the case that Hillary would have won either way. But we could be talking about the difference between a four-point victory and a 15-point victory, which makes a big difference.